President Hi. Kyle. Hi. I'm delighted to do this. Thank you for inviting me. Could we introduce you to some of the other students and let them share a little bit about the equipment they're using? And then we will take you outside so you can see the beach. All right, so hold on. So here is our entire team that came up with us. So this is President Kyle. Everybody say hello. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, they want me to explain one of our pieces of equipment that we call the Ohm Mapper. It's a resistivity survey. So this piece of equipment essentially measures the resistivity uh, contrast between the ice and the water. And so you can see, once we get this data, you can actually see a contrast between those two layers and it can give us a visual image of uh, the thickness of the ice along a survey line. So Luna, what, what are these shoes yes, that you all are wearing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are called bunny boots and they're super thick, really heavily insulated boots to keep your feet from getting cold when you're standing on the ice for a long time. If you look behind me here, this is the cart that has the Whistler unit mounted to it. So it, it really acts like a shopping cart, honestly. You just kind of push it and pull it across the ice. And the whole time we're up here, our goal is to correlate the surface temperature of the ice to the thickness of the ice. So what this machine does is it records the surface temperature of the ice along the same line that Luna takes her own knee on. So when she gets her picture of what she thinks the ice will look like, we can take this data and make a graph in Excel and use, kind of overlay them a little bit and see if they, you know, line up. This is Jesse and Sarah, and they are going to talk about the ice drill. Okay. Well, the really great thing about the ice drill is that it has very complementative data with the OMAPPER. The O mapper gives us an image that we can look up on the computer to see the structure of the sea ice on the bottom. But the drill, we can take a physical measurement with it. And what we do is after we drill all the way through the ice, we stick a big measuring tape that's spring loaded. And so it goes into the bottom and it clamps on the bottom of the ice. And once we take our measurement, we pull it up real quick and it spring loads up so we can get it back. <clears throat> And we have um, drill attachments up to three meters. And uh, the only issue we're having with the drill is that our batteries run out quickly. And so sometimes we swap off between the hand drill and people shuffle inside to go charge them and come back out. Are you ready to go outside? Yes, I'm ready. I want to see this. I've never been to Alaska. All right. This is where we come out of the building where we hold all of our equipment. And right behind me, what you're seeing is the frozen Arctic Sea. It's so cool. So how large is that community that you're visiting? How many people live there year around? About, about 4,000. There's about 4,000 people that live here. What a great experience for all of you. It is a great experience, and it's a great experience to share with our students back in Reiner and Radford because it, sometimes it's hard to remember that this is still in the United States, and, and it, they're still really similar to us, but it's just awesome to see them on, on a completely different perspective. Thank you so much, President Kyle, for thank talking you. with us. We yes. appreciate it. Thank you for well, your time. Thank you. Yes. thank you for suggesting this. This has been wonderful for me. Oh. Oh, oh, thanks. That's nice of you to say. Thank you. <laughs> Tell everybody goodbye, and we'll see them next week. All okay, right. we will. Bye. 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 Go are you.